Hello everybody and welcome. In this video we are going to import the walk cycle we made in a previous video into the scene. I created this scene in Inkscape and you can download the scene and the walk cycle from the link in the description. As you can see in my scene I split the layers into three groups background, foreground and curtain. The first thing we are going to do is import the walk cycle. So let's click on File, Import and select the SIFZ file. The first thing we have to do is to resize it. So let's select it in the layer dialog and then drag this brown handle until the model is the right size. Let's move the green handle to change the location of the model. Let's change the layer of the model so that she is standing behind the curtains. So I move it this way. Now, for the time being, let's hide the curtains. And let's start animating. First of all, I click on the green guy to go into animation mode. I want to keep the first frame as is. So I'm going to add a keyframe there. Now I want to move the model at the same rate to, uh, that her legs are moving. I'm going to take this pencil and mark where the front foot is touching the ground. I'm moving the marker to one second in and I'm moving the model so her foot stays aligned with the pencil mark. This pencil mark will disappear when I uh, close and reopen the file later. And then I repeat the process two seconds in. Doing, this, doing it this way prevents her from walking with her feet slipping too much on the ground. We want the model to walk downwards as well. So let's move the marker to the one second position and move the model downwards. Hold shift to ensure that she doesn't move to the left or the right. And let's look at this transform parameter. After one second, we see the Y offset there. Let's select it and then Copy it by right clicking. Then let's click away and then go to the two seconds mark. Click on the Y value twice and paste the value. Now let's look at the transformation value. We see that after 2 seconds she has moved about 150 points. That means we can calculate how far she will have walked after 4 seconds. 300 points. So let's add a waypoint after 4 seconds and move her the, give the distance, the calculated distance. Incidentally, we can see how these parameters change over time in graph form. Let's select the parameter we want to inspect and then click on the graph icon. Uh, we can move up and down with the mouse wheel or zoom in and out if we hold control while using the mouse wheel. As you can see, uh, the Y coordinate decreases and gradually flattens out at one second. The Y coordinate changes grad gradually, it gradually flattens out because we used a clamped waypoint. If we want the coordinate to change not gradually but abruptly, we would use a different kind of waypoint. But more on that later. As a next step, we are going to open the curtains. Let's first unhide them, then let's go to uh, the half a second mark, we open the curtain group to show an image import layer and select it. Two handles appear, let's move the upper left handle to the right to open the curtain. 
Hold shift down to constrain the motion. Then let's go to the one second mark. And here we would like to close the curtains again. So I'm going to right click on the first waypoint and then I'm going to select duplicate. This duplicates the way the waypoint. Now we have uh, opening and closing curtains. Uh, so I'm going to press 11 to run a preview. It looks fine, but there's a weird part at around frame 20. If we look at the animation more closely, uh, the model is walking in front of the curtain, but the hand is still behind the curtain. That looks a little bit weird. So we are going to change this. And in order to change this, we have to change the Z depth. So I'm working in Synfig version 1.2.0 and there's a strange bug in this version. So in order to alleviate that bug, the first thing we have to do is select all the, way, all the layers and put them together into one group layer. That should uh, prevent this bug from occurring. We move to 0 0.5 seconds. And here we're going to change the First, we're going to change the type of waypoint from clamped to constant. And let's, after that, set the Z depth to minus one. We see in the layers panel that this moves the model to just ahead of the curtain. Incidentally, if we look at the graph of this parameter, the Z depth parameter, we see that it changes abruptly. It's zero before the waypoint and minus one just after the waypoint. Now we move a bit further to frame 20 or so and we see that as we expect the hand is in front of the curtain. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and useful. If you did, you might find this video interesting and useful too. And since you are here anyway, why not click on the like button? Bye bye.